Welcome to Chart of Accounts Setup and Strategies by NetSuite Mentor. As a point of review, the Chart of Accounts is a listing of all the individual accounts in the general ledger. It contains the account's name, a brief description of the account, and preferably a coded account number assigned to aid in recording, classifying, summarizing, and reporting transactions. In short, the Chart of Accounts is the backbone and structure of your financial reporting systems. So don't glass over this task. It's absolutely necessary to maximize the profitability of your business. Enterprise systems today contain all the data necessary to make your company productive, so it's important to consider in advance what you require from those systems through the use of data mapping conducive questions. Here are some important considerations for your review. A four-digit core numbering system is adequate for most companies, but remember it needs to be adequate enough to be able to communicate it effectively throughout the organization. When converting from an existing system to NetSuite, it's important to consider things that you might want to clean up, fine-tune, and improvements that you want to make. When designing your chart of accounts, remember that your business is both common and unique. Think about what data and reporting is most important to you, and be sure to use consistent logic and adequate spacing for numbering. Displayed is a basic structure for a chart of accounts, from assets, liabilities, equity, revenue, cost of goods sold, direct expenses, indirect expenses, other income, and other expenses. Let's flash quickly now through a sample chart of accounts that we like, starting with the balance sheet first. There you have it. Now the income statement portion of the chart of accounts is typically more unique, dependent upon the industry sector and indeed your individual business, but we make some suggestions for that here also. The expense portions are always more detailed and intriguing. We make some suggestions here, starting with an alphabetic approach first. An alternative is a functional approach, one which we personally prefer, in which the most controllable and largest expenses are listed first. NetSuite presents a great deal of reporting list sort flexibility throughout the product that can compensate for business dynamics. In addition, there are mandatory accounts designed to ensure system integrity. These built-in system accounts can be numbered in order to conform to whichever chart of accounts numbering system you have adopted. Displayed now is a snapshot of the simplicity of account entry. In addition to the chart of accounts for larger or perhaps just more complex organization structures, NetSuite provides additional features for the searching of transactions and filtering of reports. These are location, departments, and class. We present some ideas here on how to successfully use these designations. Thank you for viewing this short video with suggestions on how to set up your chart of accounts. We hope it has been informative. For additional NetSuite instructional videos, please join us at www.netsuitementor.com.